hi, um, yeah, this is um, the latest vlog, um, which is more about writing and the other things I do. I do beauty, and as you know, I'm at Avon yet, and I've been um, advertising at Avon, and um, the giveaways I've had, I've had the Hello Kitty giveaways a couple of times, I've had some other Avon giveaways, I've had some other day giveaways, and, you know, thank you to everyone that took part, and I haven't had any recent giveaways. My last giveaway I did um, charge for wasn't a lot, it's like one pound fifty or something and someone complained about it, but like I said it was to cover costs of the prizes and the postage. You know, I do have regular giveaways, I'm having giveaways once a month. I also give away things with my um, beauty page on Facebook. I also have giveaways on my Twitter when I um reach a certain amount of followers and I did have a giveaway on my Twitter where people won like nail polish and lip gloss, so you know to be doing regular giveaways does cost money and like I said some of these major YouTubers that have a lot of views don't even do regular giveaways like that and they can afford to so if I just do charge £1.50 I don't think that's a lot to pay considering you know um, the prizes that you can win but anyhow this isn't so much about the giveaways like I said thank you for entering giveaways and keep following me on Twitter the link is below for my other giveaways that I do um, like my Facebook beauty page also the link below for the um, other giveaways, like every 50 likes you can win um, a mascara and then that's going to change soon as well and it will be like you can win a lip gloss. Um, there's also a giveaway on the link, a fabulous beauty chic link below. If you buy a product, um, you get entered into a draw and then two winners will be picked to win a nail varnish, a lip gloss and a lipstick. The total amount for that prize will be about £15 worth of prize, so for just buying one item to be entered in the draw, I think that's a pretty good idea. No one's entered it yet, so that's pretty good. It means you've got more chances of winning if you do enter. If you enter, just email me on the email address um, under the link, and it will actually let me know so I know to enter you. Um, so basically, um, I do the modeling as well. Um, I had some photo shoots arranged for about a month ago, which I didn't go to because I put on weight, and Although I'm not like amazingly big, I haven't put on a lot of weight, but compared to how I was in my other photos, I didn't feel secure about having like a photo shoot, so I decided um, to cancel the photo shoot for now. Also, I was going out with someone who wasn't that secure about me doing modeling, and I didn't feel great about doing that. I like to feel that I can just be myself, relax, and do a photo shoot. Now I'm on my own and single, I think I can concentrate on modeling a lot better. So I've got a photo shoot planned for the, coming up very soon. So, you know, I always look for great makeup looks and I do follow a lot of the beauty YouTubers and I see all that, the, the glam eye looks that they have and the hair and the makeup. Being an Avon rep, I obviously have a lot of makeup but I don't use a lot of foundation myself because my skin, as you can see, is quite clear. And then I used to do a lot of swimming and yoga and I kind of stopped doing that and now I'm getting back into doing the yoga and swimming, my skin, even just after one session of swimming the other day, started to look really clear. So I don't need to wear a foundation, but when I do, it does provide a much flawless finish for my face. But when I do do modeling, obviously I do wear foundation and I do a lot of heavy eye makeup. I, I like to have a natural look, but I like to have heavy eye makeup as well, especially for like some of the bikini looks. It's nice to have like a sun-kissed look, just like with heavy eyes and like gold gold lipstick and a sun kiss kind of look but a lot of you youtubers out there do some really great videos and I'm really glad of some of those videos because I showed some of the eye looks to some of my makeup artists and they looked at it and tried to create a look and one of my videos if you have a look and scroll down it's about um, I think it's called Avon Girly Freshman Photo Shoot if you see my eyes in that video I'm really impressed with that a makeup artist did it because she followed a, she was a makeup artist anyway and she knew I could do eyes but she followed a look that I wanted. So it's really interesting to know that I can like follow some of you YouTubers makeup looks. Um, you know, for some of my photo shoots. If you go to my other beauty page, the one where I'm giving away mascara every fifty likes, Maybelline mascara by the way, and um, there's a couple of videos from YouTubers that are a bit more popular than me. They've had a lot more views. I don't know if they could say they're more popular, but obviously they've had more views. There's a girl called um Desire Beauty, she has good um beauty tutorials and she does like modeling and she has videos where she's like doing different model shoots and I, I quite like how she looks and how she models 
so I, I put her video to my page. I've also got like my Barbie videos and Andrew's Choice, and I will be putting more videos from my favorite YouTubers there. Um, if you want any of your videos put on my page, just DM me or request and I can do it. You have to obviously make sure you're subscribed to me and, and you've liked my page. And you definitely get a lot of likes because I also then share those links to my Twitter and, and at the moment my total Twitter followers are about 9,000. But that's because I've got two Twitters. I've got one Twitter that's more for my beauty and promotion and my other Twitter I tend to promote my writing. But this video, like I said, is more promoting my writing. I do write um, all sorts of things. I've written children's writing, I've done autobiography, I've done self-help, um, health, you know, about yoga and beauty, you know, um, factual, but I also write romance and erotic. And as you know that since Fifty Shades of Grey, a lot of people are more open-minded to erotica now. Um, but it also makes it a lot more difficult for people that write erotica because in the past we kind of stood out, but whereas now it's like everyone seems to want to buy erotica now and a lot of people are writing erotica even people that are not proper writers a lot of like guys just do a blog writing about their experiences and they turn it into an erotic story so it is very competitive but then so is everything nowadays I think and um, yeah right now I'm just currently trying to get back into work like and because of the cosmetic industry because I sell cosmetics I'm going to like apply full time into the cosmetic world or in a clothes shop where I'm just working with people all the time because I just like mixing with different people. You know, if you get a few people that aren't very nice, it doesn't matter because there's always going to be lots of people that are really nice. And that's what I'm finding on eBay. I've sold a lot of products. I've got at least 150 customers now and and that's just since January. And I find you get a couple of people that maybe didn't receive their products by mistake or something was broken. And I'm not sure whether that was really true because one girl said that something, an eyeliner she received was cracked and I've never ever had that complaint and as soon as I said I'll send it back and I'll, I'll, I'll claim for it with the post office she suddenly goes, oh, I'll be okay now, I need it now, it's fine and I'm like, it's almost like as soon as I asked her to prove that it was cracked she couldn't do it and I'm just questioning now whether the couple of people that have said that they didn't receive an item maybe they actually did receive it anyway so I can't, like I said, out of a hundred customers I haven't had any complaints um, you know, I had one person that was saying that something didn't match the description and when I checked it, I saw that Avon were using the, the same picture and saw what other eBay is and then I came back to her with that and she didn't reply and I said, what's going on here? And then she just said, I'm oh, sorry, I made a mistake, blah, blah, blah. But, um, so generally speaking, I've had a lot of positive feedback, a lot of people buying a lot of stuff. Um, if you check all my products on the right hand side, you can see all the stuff that I'm selling. I'm doing really good deals, so check that all out. So like I said, if you want to check out my erotica, the link is below for my erotic site and there are new stories coming um, and I will be needing writers as well. I can't pay writers right now, but I will maybe in the future be able to, but for now you get advertising, um, so therefore the fact that your writing is on my site means that you will get more views to maybe either your Facebook or other sites that you want to promote. After June, I will have to charge for promotion, so at the moment it's free promotion to take advantage of this if you're a writer. And like I said, the link's below, so I hope you check out my erotica and stay tuned for my photo shoot. And there is a Hello Kitty giveaway coming up at the end of the month as well, so um, don't forget if you want to buy my cosmetics at great prices, don't delay. Okay, make sure you subscribe to this channel and share it. I also sing as well, so check out my singing channel which is Super Blender, S-U-P-E-R-B-E-L-I-N-D-A-H. Just type that in on YouTube and you'll see my singing channel. Okay, take care. Bye.